हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ वेबस्टर्स मेथड क्वेश्चन इज गिवन एज द एवरेज नॉर्मल फ्लो ऑफ ट्रैफिक ऑन क्रॉस रोड्स ए एंड बी ड्यूरिंग पीरियड आर 400 एंड 250 पैसेंजर कार यूनिट पर आर द सेचुरेशन फ्लो वैल्यूज आर 1250 एंड 1000 पैसेंजर कार यूनिट पर आर respectively the all red time required for pedestrian crossing is 12 seconds design two phase traffic signal by webster's method now in the question qa is given as 400 passenger car unit per hour similarly qb is given as 250 passenger car unit per hour similarly sa will be equals to 1250 passenger car unit per hour similarly sb will be equals to 1000 passenger car unit per hour now we need to determine the value of ya which will be equals to qa upon sa by putting the value of qa as 400 and sa as 1250 we will have the value of ya which will be equals to 0.32 similarly we can determine the value of yb Which will be the ratio of QB upon SB by putting the value of QB equals to two fifty and SB value is thousand. It will be equals to zero point two five. Now we need to determine the value of Y, which will be equals to YA plus YB. On putting the value of YA as zero point three two and YB as zero point two five, we will get the value of Y equals to zero point five seven. Now we have the value of all red time equals to twelve seconds, so we can determine the value of L equals to two n plus r. Here the value of n is two, so it will be equals to two into two plus twelve. By adding this, we will have the value of L equals to sixteen seconds. Now C naught will be equals to one point five L plus five upon one minus y. Now, after putting the value of L equals to sixteen seconds plus five upon one minus zero point five seven, it will be equals to sixty seven point four four, which is nearly equals to sixty eight seconds. So, C naught will be equals to sixty eight seconds. Now, we can determine the value of G dash A, which will be the ratio of Y A upon Y into C naught minus L. On putting the value of y a as zero point three two and y as zero point five seven, the value of c naught is given as sixty eight and the value of l is already determined that is sixteen. On solving this, we will have the value of g dash a equals to twenty nine point one nine, which will be nearly equals to thirty seconds. Similarly, we can determine the value of g dash b, which will be equals to zero point two five. Divided by zero point five seven in bracket sixty eight minus sixteen. On solving this, we will have the value of twenty two point eight zero, which is nearly equals to twenty three seconds. That is the value of G dash B. Now we can determine the value of G dash. That is effective green time equals to green time plus amber time minus total loss time. Here total loss time will be equals to all red time divided by two. It will be equals to eight second. That is the average value of total loss time. So we can determine the value of G plus A, which will be equals to effective green time of A plus total loss time. So it will be equals to thirty plus eight. That is thirty eight seconds. So Green time plus amber time will be equals to thirty eight seconds. Now green time for B road plus amber time of B road will be equals to effective green time of road B plus total loss time. It will be equals to twenty three plus eight, which will be equals to thirty one seconds. So green time of road A plus amber time of road A will be equals to thirty eight seconds and Green time for road B plus amber time for road B will be equals to 
थर्टी वन सेकेंड दैट इज ऑल अबाउट दिस न्यूमेरिकल थैंक यू वेरी मच स्टूडेंट्स